So it comes to pass that Dave the Barbarian does approach the wisest in all the kingdom with a grave and ponderous question. What rhymes with cannoli? If I'm so wise, how come I'm working for a bonehead like you? Come on, help me out! I'm trying to finish my new musical, Oh Pastry. It's the touching story of one man's love for baked goods. There are words to describe how stupid that is. But if I said them, I'd get bleeped. Please, Uncle Oswidge, don't make me sign any more papers. But a princess has to. <laughs> I don't want to be some dumb ruler who makes dumb laws. I just want to hang out with my dumb friends. Candy, Mom and Dad said you have to rule Udragoth. I know it's hard, but it's your responsibility. Easy for you to say they didn't leave you with this dumb job. No, but if they had, I would bear the burden with grace, dignity, and style. Also, I'd redo the throne room in a Polynesian motif. Fine! Ha! Had hair! <clears throat> You'll be ruler for a few days. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. Whoa, 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 bad time for a vacation. I hear Chuckles the Silly Piggy is planning to invade. It's just a rumor. Not really. He sent a letter. Dear Kingdom of Udragoth, I will be invading soon. Love, the Dark Lord Chuckles the Silly Piggy. P.S. I hope you enjoy the fruitcake. He sent a fruitcake? The fiend! Well, it's King Dave's problem now. <laughs> I'm the king! Not quite. <laughs> it ain't official until you sit on the Enchanted Throne. Now it's gonna keep doing that all day! Ooh, comfy. State your name. Ah, Dave! All hail the mighty ruler. Ah, Dave! His word is law. Please keep your hands and feet inside the throne room at all times. Now you're the king. At least until somebody else sits on the throne. So now I can make laws. I'll make the best laws ever, and everyone will love me. Yes, love me. <coughs> King Dave hereby proclaims, effective immediately, the establishment of Casual Dress Friday. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that is so much better. Next Friday, I'm gonna wear sneakers. You see, they love me. This is great. Yeah, I thought I'd never get a chance to wear this shirt. Mm, that law is gonna be hard to top. What next, what next? Oh, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Henceforth, every Saturday will be Udragoth Spirit Day. All subjects will wear the kingdom's official colors. Red, a slightly darker red, and another red, a lot like the first one, but more sort of salmon-y. Did you get all that? Henceforth. I'll do it myself. Happy Udragoth Spirit Day! Hey, do you think all this red makes me too easy a target for attackers? A little. Udragoth. Yahoo! Yahoo! I hate your brother's stupid Spirit Day law. Red is so not my color. It makes me look slain. I don't care what stupid laws he makes as long as he's the one making them. Hey, are, are you gonna eat your entrails? This is great! I can do anything I want and make everybody happy! Anything! <laughs> Now, what oh, other brilliant please. laws can I pass? Oh. Aha! You know what's always bugged me? I'm allergic to cat fur, and I bet a lot of other people are too, huh? So, what can you do about that? And therefore, all subjects must immediately shave their cats! So proclaims King Dave! It was going okay until I started shaving his belly. Yeah, they look pretty cute till they get mad, huh?
Make it quick. I'm working on my musical. You gotta stop passing all these stupid laws. Everybody's really mad at you, especially the cats. It says meow. And they mean it. But I wanted them to love me. Now they've turned against their great and wonderful king. I'll show them. Heads will roll. Excruciating punishments will be enacted. Wendy's will be given. No. A good king battles an unruly populace with acts of kindness. I'll win them over by providing a little culture. I'll make a law requiring everyone in Udragoth to attend the opening of my new musical, Oh, Pastry! I think most people would rather have the excruciating punishments. Silence! Oh, the king wrote a musical. That's gotta be a complete... Work of genius. Every subject must attend, but if we go, the kingdom will be unguarded against invaders. Nope. See, it says, all invaders must attend as well. Wow, the king thinks of everything. But meanwhile, outside Udragoth, the Dark Lord chuckles that Silly Piggy sees his chance. <laughs> it's showtime! Oh! Ah. With all the suffering in the world, that makes us feel sad or irate. One thing still fills us all with joy and starchy carbohydrates. Pastry, why the heck are you so tasty? With sugariness, you graced me. Oh, pastry, you're sweet and gooey, soft and chewy. You're so great, you drive me screwy. Pastry, pastry, pastry. Anybody home? I brought another fruitcake. <laughs> Are you kidding me with that? No, you stupid chair! Now make me king, or I'll reupholster you in a really ugly plaid. All hail the mighty ruler! The Dark Lord chuckles the silly piggy! His or her word is law. <laughs> what, his or her? What, you can't tell? Alas, poor Danish, what is thy filling? Well, who knows better than the Danish prince? You're filled with cheese and sugar. Cheese and sugar with the texture of a burger. <laughs> I, the Dark Lord Chuckles, the silly piggy, am seated upon the throne of Udragoth. I am your king now. <laughs> and my first law is no musical theater. We have to stop him. Yeah, let's go. So far, I like the pig's laws better than Dave's. <laughs> You cannot defeat me. I am all powerful. <laughs> you can stop me. As the true king of Utrecht, I order you to stop being mean. Jabbers! Actually, Chuckles, it, it seems like you're doing a, a pretty good job. Yay! With the combined power of the throne and the mystic amulet of Hawk Swinebore, I am invincible. Behold! do not belong in jars in delis, they belong on pig's ankles! You call that a law? It beats shaving cats! Oh, man, even the bad guy's laws aren't as bad as mine. I wanted to make all my subjects happy, and instead they all hate me. Oh, don't beat yourself up, Dave. Thanks, Fang. Let me do it! <laughs> all right, pig boy, I'm here to put an end to your badness! One little girl, I'm so scared. Not just one little girl. All of Udragoth! We will defend to the death he who brought us casual dress Friday. Even if he did make us watch that awful play! You know, you don't have to yell like that when you're not making proclamations. Yell like what? They do love me! Yay! Udragothians, charge! <laughs> so, did 
you like the fruitcake? <laughs> so, Piggy, any last words before we banish you? <laughs> I'd just like to say that... <laughs> Loyal subjects, I want to thank you for standing by me even though I went a little wacky with the laws there. And since my musical was interrupted, I'd like to perform the closing number for you. Pastry, pastry. That seemed a little harsh. <laughs> wow, that was your lucky. History, there have been many great barbarian heroes. Kronkaz the Smasher. <laughs> Mortan the Ridiculer. <laughs> hey, Pizza Face. <laughs> Shibor, the stomper on things until they're squished into mushy paste. Are you paste yet? Not quite. These mighty heroes have been honored in the most ancient and venerable of all art forms. One pack of famous barbarian trading cards, please. Or I'll crush you like a grape! That'll be three Dracles. But I'll give you a Dracul off for not crushing me. Thanks, Mrs. Bogmelon. Gronk has a smasher. Junk. Mortad the ridiculer. Junk. She bore the blah, blah, blah. Junk. Strong the Slayer. Yes! Now, I've got Strong's trading cards, an action figure, and poster, and lunchbox, your board game, complete table setting, and snow globe. His official biography, his unofficial biography, his officially unofficial biography, and his new and improved super deluxe monkey warmer. Is it hot in here, or is it me? Hands off the monkey warmer, man! But I want to touch the monkey. <laughs> hey, now you can get Strom's autograph, too. What? He's coming to town today. Yeah, right. Like I wouldn't have heard about him. Uh... Slayer is finally here. Take it, Mona. There's no point in running. You better not flee. You got less of a chance than a fish in a tree. Get back, Strong the Slayer's here. Look out, Strong the Slayer! Here! I bet he'd sign that trading card if you get down there. Soon. Ah, here to slay the dragon. How are you? Ah, here to slay the dragon. How are you? Ah, here to slay the dragon. How are you doing? Thus, Fang at last has the opportunity to meet the hero who has inspired her over the years. An opportunity she completely and utterly... Ah, here to slay the dragon. Blows. Ah, here to slay the dragon. How... Uh, Strom. Nobody here's heard of a dragon. What? I'm here to slay the dragon, people! You know, big scaly monster, fangs, wings, been terrorizing you for years. Do we have one of those? We got a giant troll. Why don't you slay him? Excuse me. Oh, can I get past? Pardon me. Pardon me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, my bad. This is the Slay the Dragon Tour. I'm not doing trolls this year. Maybe next year. The point is, I need a dragon to slay. Doesn't Dave have a pet dragon? Is it a gigantic vicious beast? Hey, it's more of a dumb little fine potato or something. Close enough. I shall slay it by the setting sun. Now, who wants a t-shirt? They're absolutely free. Plus a small service charge of 50 dracos. Oh, yeah, can I get two? Can I get two? I don't believe it. That Strom wants to slay Faffy? That he can give away t-shirts for free. It's not cost effective. The thing is, Faffy, uh, this Strom guy is huge and mighty and stuff, and he wants to, you know, slay you. Ooh. But don't panic. We're gonna help. Right, Fang? And so, our heroes set out to save Faffy. Dave's plan is to teach Faffy the art of disguise. <laughs> You're gonna have to give up this breathing nonsense. Candy's plan is to teach him the ancient martial art of Taekwondo. 
It's not as good for fighting as Taekwondo, but it's great for firming the buttocks. Begin. Oswich's plan is to use magic. Sadly, it is his magic. So Strom wants a big dragon, huh? I'll give him a big dragon. A Wudrak! Blog Pearsonel! Flockin' chicken! I did not need to see that. Even Fang tries to help protect the poor dragon from her famous barbarian hero. Strong the Slayer has slain griffins and basilisks and manticores. He's slain so much stuff it's amazing anything's still alive. He is exactly what I want to be when I grow up. And I am not going to have my hero come to my house and see what a wimp my dragon is. So hide! Fang's suggestion is, of course, the most sensible one. And where better to hide than in plain sight? Doing okay up there, Faf. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. Strong's uh... here! I need my trading card. I'm gonna get his autograph for sure this time. <sighs> okay. Ready! Oh, there's eight or ten girls back home, and then maybe 20 or 30 on the road. So, you're saying you're single? Mr. The Slayer! Please, call me Strom. Uh, your book seems to be smoking. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a filthy habit, but I can't get it to stop. I understand you've come to slay the dragon. Yes! I'm afraid I've already slain him. Oh, darn the luck. M -m 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 Mr. Strong? Pathetic little specimen, isn't it? Who are you calling pathetic? <laughs> I meant the dragon, not you, little, uh, little, uh, human? He guessed my species. <laughs> are you positive he's slain? Completely, I mean. I've never seen a less slain dragon in all my life. But that's easily taken care of. Ooh, the legendary golden triax! And here comes his famous battle cry. Valim Vali! Okay, the battle cry isn't all that great, but the axe is cool! Stop! I beg your pardon? My hero, who's never been defeated in battle, and who's for sure gonna chop him up into little pieces. Eep! No one stops Strom the Slayer from slaying! But, but Faffy's a pet dragon! Fine. I'll slay you, then your dragon. Alim Dali! Now, draw your sword, villain. Don't worry, you can take this guy. Really? Of course not. Don't be stupid! Alim Dali! <laughs> Can we discuss this? Ah! We're both reasonable people. Ah! I'm highly allergic to being chopped up. Ah! What's going on? Uh, the usual. Someone's trying to off Dave. <laughs> I'll put a stop to that. Clem Rock. Do you have any idea what this is going to cost me in shoes? Could we move to another part of the castle? I'm running out of things to hide behind. Alim Valley! Oh, yeah? And what if I do, huh? What are you gonna do? You gonna stop me? Huh? Huh? Touch, 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 touch. This at last is too much. Not even one's hero can be allowed to sully one's prized possession. That does it! Let's see. Height, weight, favorite color, turn offs. Ah! Weaknesses! Touch. Touch. Aren't you gonna slay me anymore? Obviously, you've never touched a monkey. It's kind of addicting. All right, Strom. I challenge you to battle. You? <laughs> but you're just a little person. I may be little, but I'm not as little as your furry friend, <gasps> Mr. Squidgy. Surrender, or the bunny gets it. 
No, no, no! No, don't hurt Mr. Squidgy. Promise not to touch my monkey warmer? Promise! Or slay Dave or Baffy? Promise! Just give me back my bestest little pal. <laughs> Mr. Squidgy, are you okay? Are you okay, z -wazy? Having lost all respect for her lifelong hero, Fang is finally able to ask... Can I have your autograph? Fang, your resourcefulness is impressive for one so small. Fare thee well, warriors of Udragoth. Fare thee well. And thus did Fang learn that even the greatest hero can be a... Weenie. Hiya! Hiya! Dave, I just found out Straw made them add a new trading card to the famous Barbarians collection. Maybe it's me. It could be me. Do you think it's me? Kronk has a smasher. Junk. Mortad the Ridiculer. Junk. Straw the Slayer. Junk. Aha! It's... It's... You! Dave, the hider behind things? Oh, that's not a flattering picture at all. You got nothing to complain about. <laughs> it's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grabbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs.